Stimmt besser. Hello there. With the Obi-Wan Kenobi series trailer dominating the internet last week, there's been a flood of interviews and information on the decisions and production of the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Yeah, it's like poetry. And with that, we're going to be covering the news about Darth Vader's return to the Star Wars universe, specifically bringing back Hayden Christensen. But we do like to cut to the chase in these videos, so before we get into it, remember to like, subscribe, and quack that notification bell. It does help a lot. There, that's it. Now onto the video. Right. Kathleen Kennedy has talked about the decision process to bring Hayden Christensen back into the world of Star Wars to play Darth Vader once again. In an interview with Entertainment Weekly, Lucasfilm president Kathleen Kennedy talked about how determined they were to bring back Hayden Christensen. She started by talking about how long and difficult the decision process was. The debate around whether we should do that or not carried on for quite some time. Everybody within our creative team has strong opinions, and all of our fans have strong opinions. She then recognized the full scope of the Star Wars franchise and how scrutinous fans and audience members can be. So when you realize that you're under that level of scrutiny, certainly a story point like that is going to be scrutinized at a very high level. We talked about it constantly. With the amount of flack and hate that Kathleen Kennedy has taken from certain factions in the Star Wars fandom, it's nice to see her address the level of scrutiny the franchise has now. For better or for worse. Regardless of your feelings towards Kathleen Kennedy, just remember she's a human being and has produced some of the most amazing films in the last four decades. It was also George Lucas's choice to put her as the head of Lucasfilm. Were there questionable choices for the new trilogy? 100%, and maybe they have course corrected with The Mandalorian. But then again, there's Book of Boba Fett, so... I got bad thought. Either way, it could just be that some fans don't realize they aren't the demographic anymore, and things always evolve. Again, for better or for worse. I mean, they are movies. Yes, we love Star Wars and it shaped our childhood, but to go and single out one person and attack... <laughs> <clears throat> right. Hayden Christensen played Anakin in Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith. The latter film saw him make the transition from the Jedi to the dark side of the Force. However, Hayden Christensen was only briefly seen in the Vader suit at the very end of Revenge of the Sith. The actor is set to don Darth Vader's helmet once again for the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, and he said that fans can expect a powerful Sith Lord. To get more opportunities to see one of the best villains in cinematic history is extremely exciting. Plus, it stands to reason that we could see Obi-Wan and Vader having another duel in the upcoming series. It's so pleasing to see Hayden Christensen get another chance to play this role, especially given the less than favorable reaction he received following his appearances in the prequels. Although they have gained a lot more popularity over the last decade or so, since that demographic has begun to grow into adults. It's not yet known if legendary actor James Earl Jones will reprise his voice role as Vader. We'll find out in a few months as the Obi-Wan Kenobi series begins May 25th on Disney+. Plus. And with that, we'll ask that you like, subscribe, and quack that notification bell one more time. We're really enjoying making these videos, and with those support clicks from you, we can continue to grow. Thank you for watching, and please let us know what you think in the comments. We do read all of them. See you next time.